Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today I have arranged a collab between a really big uh, anime review and top 10 anime reviewer uh, YouTubers, uh, well their uh, channel called Misty Chronexia and I literally fell in love with the design of their character because they have a weak spot for pink haired characters so I asked them if they would be willing to have a collaboration and uh, let me draw out their cute character Misty uh, and uh, her pet uh, I think this is a duck, but at, at one point I thought it was maybe a platypus because it was so cute. And it reminds me a lot of Psyduck from uh, Pokemon series. So I don't know what was the exact story behind this character, but I would really love to know more. Um, this, char uh, this character actually uh, reminds me of some old school character because of her specific design of bows uh, on her hair. And she also reminds me of Vocaloids because of her cute headphones. Uh, as for the design of her uniform, it's quite spacey and the crossover between uh, spacey sci-fi clothes and regular school clothing. And she has a little bit of an opai moment there, so that's something I really support with characters because I really uh, do approve uh, etchy and just uh, curvy bodies and body positivity so um, yeah well manga manga usually does not have that many different types of bodies but still I like to play and and draw out bodies a bit more curvy uh, and a little less geometrical uh, boys and girls as for the drawing itself, I used a really low amount of black areas because um, I didn't want her to look too uh, strict or have too much of a contrast. I wanted to give her a bit of a softer look, so that's exactly why even her eyelashes are actually left just edged out and uh, I colored them just after her original design, pure pink. So, well, it's more of a watermelon kind of a shade, but I, I love, that's one of my, actually, it's one of my favorite color shades. So, I even used the N4 Copic to just uh, darken it a bit on the edges, edges later on. But as for her general look, uh, she actually features a combination of pastel colors and some stronger colors like the watermelon pink hair. Uh, this is just the perfect amount of strong and pastel colors uh, for a character, so that's why I chose to draw her with uh, Copics and I even enjoyed using some Copic shades I never used before like this orange one for the duck she was holding on to and I, I really wanted to try to do something that I don't usually do with female faces and that's to shade the female face by making the nose look a little bit more 3D but without drawing out the nostrils. It's kind of a thing you can only do by painting the color, well the shape of the nose itself directly. So it's something that you learn and you can easily mis make a mistake on but it's fun to try and you can always correct it with some white colors, well white paint. Uh, I really love the, the, the dark blue accents on her little bows. These bows are actually really quite old-fashioned anime which I really love doing and combining with some modern coloring types. Uh, as you can see, my uh, 0.1 fine liner actually did all of the work with the lines. I did not even use too much of thicker lines for the duck because the duck is one object that is actually in front of our character. Well, technically not an object, but an animal or a mascot. So I just left all the lines as thin as I could to get this soft girly look she deserves. And I really love her design and I really enjoy doing this collab with Misty Chronexia. And 
I really hope that they will like this design as well because this is kind of a surprise for them uh, when I send them the link and they didn't even uh, know what kind of the finishing result I have prepared for them. For that specific shoujo look I wanted to give her, I actually placed extra amount of white lines and dots with uh, the white gel pen and here she is! You can download her in full HD on my Patreon page located in the description. And she's done! If you want to learn how to draw just like this, you can always support my work by getting your own copy of my Manga Crash Course book available on Amazon.com, Barnes & Noble's bookstores and websites, and bookstores all across the globe. This book features all the secrets about drawing faces sideways, front, on different angles, how to shade faces, how to draw and how to shade different types of hairstyles, etc. for your characters. So if you're interested, check out the links in the description and see you guys next time!